In 2013, Pope Francis declared a year of consecrated life be celebrated throughout the world. Sister Mary Ann Seton Lepicolo, the Episcopal Delegate for Religious in the Diocese of Brooklyn, has spearheaded a committee to put together events in honor of the year. Numerous occasions have taken place within the diocese since the year of consecrated life began on November 30th. We said, well, that's a wonderful way to begin because it's Advent. So what we did is we planned an Advent prayer um, on two different Sundays, one in Brooklyn and one in Queens. We just had an, an afternoon prayer on a Sunday with a simple reception. And I'd say between the two places, a couple of hundred people came. And they really appreciated the fact that we could come together and we had keynote speakers who gave it, uh, reflections during it. So that was the kickoff of it. Then we had World Day for Consecrated Life, which is what we do annually, and Bishop DiMarzio had Mass, and we recognized different ministries that we're involved in. And in the meantime, we sent out to all the parishes and schools and religious ed programs the opportunity for religious to come and to visit. And we call the program Two by Two, just the way Jesus sent out the disciples two by two to preach the good news. We were sending out religious two by two to tell the good news about consecrated life the way it is today. The year of consecrated life won't end until February 2nd. Sister Marianne and her team plan on holding multiple events throughout the coming months, including a liturgy within the next few weeks. One of the things that we're having, and it's, I hope it's going to be our big liturgy for the year, is at the end of October, on October 25th, we're going to celebrate liturgy at St. James Cathedral. And I particularly called it Honoring Our Roots. Because Brooklyn is one of the oldest dioceses in the country, and this is a place where many immigrants came. They still come, but really this is where they came. And um, the, the church was alive here on these lands before we were even named a diocese. There was faith formation going on, there was schooling going on, and it was the sisters and the brothers who came in those very early days who laid the foundation for religious life in our diocese as a means of service, you know. So um, I really feel it's important to honor those very beginning communities. While the year of consecrated life continues, let us not forget about the religious men and women who have assisted in our schools, hospitals, and parishes. Reporting for Currents, I'm Tim Harfman.